Chris Taylor, Deputy Editor with Mashable, here with Microsoft CEO Steve Barton. Steve, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. It's a real pleasure to, uh, to talk to you. So, uh, a successful Windows 8 launch, a successful Windows Phone launch. Uh, what's, what's next? What's on your agenda? Well, uh, tomorrow, in fact, you get a chance to sit down with uh, groups of software developers at our Build Conference and talk about the opportunity that's really represented uh, in these devices hundreds of millions of Windows PCs in a store that's now open for their innovation, uh, a new touch interface, live tiles. There's a whole sort of new level of activity and discoverability. It's not just about writing an app for a Windows device. It's about writing a, an app that really gives the, the life, the vitality, and the discoverability back to the app that every developer will want. And we need to make sure people understand that opportunity on the PC and just how great and easy and important it is to also do a Windows Phone app at the same time. So we, we do have a lot of developers among our readers of Bashful and obviously yeah. of iOS and Android developers. What would be your pitch specifically to them to say, you know, don't worry about those other guys coming up? Well, I, I think I would say two things. I'd say not only come over, but come over and, and do unique work that really isn't just an app on our platform, but an app that is open to be searched through our search charms, that is alive with activity, that roams things nicely for the user using a Microsoft account. I actually think the opportunity to do a better app and to reach a bigger community of customers, there it will be in the next year a larger group of new Windows customers than there will Android or iOS customers. I mean, I'm not telling people not to do things that might be in their best interest. I'm telling you the biggest opportunity I think you'll find is actually on our platforms. And, and similarly for, for the consumers, uh, you know, I, I bet we have many, many thousands of uh, consumers who are looking this holiday season, maybe at purchasing an iPhone, maybe at purchasing an Android device. How do you say, you know, hold on, uh, wait a second, we've got some great stuff coming. You know, what's, what's the singular pitch to the consumer? I would say a few things. Number one, if you really want a smartphone that is alive with the things that are most important to you, people, the information, Windows Phone is for you. There's no compromise. You can get the highest end, coolest hardware, but you can also get phones that are kind of the most affordable on the market. And certainly, you'll get the phone that works best with a Windows PC, and we know hundreds of millions of you in the next year will buy a new Windows PC. So it's the cross platform. It's cross-platform, great hardware, and the ultimate in a personal experience that the Windows Phone brings. Would you ever consider bundling Windows 8 with uh, Windows Surface with, uh, you know, <laughs> with a Windows Phone? Is that I think our, our, our customers could kind of independently assess the innovation, but we're certainly going to bring it to life. If you walk into a Microsoft store or into to one of our partner stores, I think the way these things work together will be evident to our customers. But that's the pitch. Take care of it now. Get all your Windows 8 upgrades. Well, it's part of it. Out of the way. It's part of it. If you want the best phone on the market, we think it's the Windows phone. If you want the most affordable phone on the market, we think it's the Windows phone. If you want the most personal phone on the market, it's the Windows phone. And if you want the one that works best with Windows, geez, it's a Windows phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Well, Steve Bala, CEO of Microsoft, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.